Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass geometry. In this video we're going to go over reflections over the line x equals 2 by looking at two examples. First by going over how to reflect a triangle over a line, then looking at how to reflect a line onto itself. Then you can try the practice questions on your own at the end of this video. So before we begin, if you need a review on the basics of reflections, I do have a video on that so please check that out before. Um, going any further, if you need a review on reflections in the x-axis, y-axis, or over the line y equals x. So you can check that out right here. So now let's we'll just go into our first example. So we need to reflect triangle ABC with coordinates A, negative 2, 4, B, negative 2, 1, and C, negative 5, 4, over the line x equals 2 to create a new triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So what we're going to do is just first draw out that line x equals 2. So remember whenever we have a line that is just x equal to a number it is going to be a vertical straight vertical line going down. So we want to find x equals 2 on our x-axis here. So 1, 2. So that's right here. And then we're just going to draw a line going down this entire thing. So let's label it x equals 2. So now all we have to do is, is reflect each coordinate point one by one to the other side of this line. So we're making a mirror image and we want to measure out how many units away each point is. So if we look at point A, we can see it's one, two, three, four units away, right? One, two, three, four units away from our line x equals two, our reflection line. And now all we want to do to reflect point A is to count four units on the other side of this line. So one, two, three, four. And this is going to be our new point, A prime. So let's just do that with each point. So I'm going to, I'm just going to use different colors here so, so we could see, we could see easily what we're working with. So again, uh, looking at point B, we have, we are four units away from this line. One, two, three, four. And now we're just going to count four units to the other side of this line. One, two, three, four. And here we have our B prime. And lastly we have C. I'm going to measure up here just so we can see it more clearly. So C, let's measure the distance between C and line X equals two. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven units away from line x equals two. So now we gotta go seven units on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're gonna put a dot. And now we can connect our dots. So our new triangle A prime, B prime, C prime is, is right here. So you could see that we reflected our image. Each point is perfectly a mirror image away equidistant away from this line x equals 2. And that's our answer. So now let's look at another example. Reflect line segment AB with coordinates A 1 comma 2 and B 4 0 over the line x equals 2 to create a new line segment A prime B prime. So this time we're dealing with a line segment instead of a triangle. So again let's draw out our line x equals 2 so we go to where x is equal to 2 right 1 2 so that's right here and then we're just going to draw a vertical line and label it x equals 2 and now we can we can take the mirror image of this um, point by point so we only have two points so this won't be so bad but it's interesting because notice this is kind of being reflected onto itself right because we have a point here on one side of our reflection line and then we have another point B over here on the other side so, but we're going to do this the same exact way. So if you look, if you notice, point A is one unit away from x equals 2. So we're just going to go one unit away from x equals 2 to the other side. So this gives us A prime. And point B is two units away from the line x equals 2. It's on the other side, but it's still two units away. So now we're just going to reflect that and bring it to the other side and label it B prime. And now we just need to connect our dots. And you can see that this, 
truly is the mirror image of itself even though they are on top of each other like that which is interesting and the same would work for a co more complicated shape like a triangle or a pentagon any shape you're working with that's onto itself you do the same exact thing so if you're looking for more check out the practice questions right here the answers are up on my website massocks.org the link is in the description below and if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.